Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. It's me, your host, Logic Blade, and we're back after a short little break. Last time around, we started the game proper, enjoyed what the prologue had to offer, and uh, got started in Chapter 1. Got used to life at the Academy, meeting our new students, all that fun stuff that comes with every new Trails game. But, uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot on our plates, so let's, uh, let's continue on with Chapter 1. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed, I've, uh, made a bit of an outfit change. You see, it's our free day after all, and as such, we might as well get dressed up in our casual wear. What? I didn't spend $40 on the DLC? What? That's ridiculous. Who would do such a thing? Not me. No. No. S someone like me would, would never, never do something like that. No. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's uh, continue on. And, uh... While I was off screen, I did, I did a few things. Uh, essentially, I... Won the Vantage Masters game, caught a few fish, and uh, abused Reen making the potato salad. <laughs> gotta, gotta make the potato salad. <laughs> How's it going, Crimson? Yeah, there is only one daddy, and that's uh, Daddy Osborne. This, uh, this whole game is about Reen striving to become the ultimate daddy. There can only be one. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, no, that, that puts other things into uh, weird and very strange contexts. We'll, we'll get there in time, though. Don't don't you worry your pretty little head about that. <laughs> uh, how's it going? I forget where the hell I'm... No, I, I, I know what I'm doing, kind of. <laughs> it was like... Just gotta remember where places are on this uh, this map. I gotta get to the main building. Cause that's where the briefing room is. <laughs> uh, the English voice actors are actually sounding really good to me. Some of them don't quite mesh one-to-one -one for me, but uh, I don't really have any outstanding complaints so far. Maybe some of the... Uh, Maybe some of the side characters, but I mean... Even then, like... The only voice I really dislike at this point... And that's only a minor dislike, is Agate. But even that's kind of growing on me a bit. Aurelia is perfect. Uh, Randy is perfect. Uh... Who else of the new ones do I really like? Uh... Rosine's is really nice. Yuna is growing on me pretty quickly here. Um, and of course, I've mentioned this about 700 times, but Muse is... Alexis Tipton is perfect as Muse. Anyway, um, enough gushing, let's, uh, let's continue on with the, uh, events here. So yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's begin our briefing. Our briefing in our casual clothing here. <laughs> Technically, yes. Aurelia, Rosine, and Schmidt aren't technically new. They do have a few voice lines in the uh, in Cold Steel 2 on the uh, on the Steam version, but uh, they don't have a lot of lines. And uh, Michael is Xander Mobus completely floored me. I was totally surprised by that. I haven't played the PS4 versions of Cold Steel 1 and 2. I don't have enough money for three copies of that game. I only have enough money for two copies of a game. <laughs> um, we start on this thing or what? Sorry, we couldn't pay the voice actors for this scene. <laughs> and apparently not even the principal knows what the hell our special legends are about. God, this really is a trash bin of a school. Only our chief instructor and our contact are privy to that information. 
Uh, apparently our chief instructor is Major Michael, so only he knows. Oh, I keep you guys waiting? Sorry, my bad. Aw, oh, fuck off. I mean, I knew this was coming, but still. Every goddamn time. Huh? Eat shit, Lecter. That voice. <laughs> no way. And of course, he brought the voice acting with him. But more importantly... Major Lecter! And that's... More importantly, it's Milliam! <laughs> it's Milliam with her brand new voice actress. <laughs> Milliam! Sup, Breen? Long time no see! You can tell just how happy Sean Chiplock is to see Milliam in this game. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> and there's your traditional reunion tackle! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's accounted for. Nice try, though. <laughs> I knew tagging along with Lecter would be a good idea. I've got another mission next week, and I didn't know when I'd get the chance to see you again. Grats on graduating, Reen. <laughs> and grats on getting crazy tall, too. <laughs> well, I've only grown like five reach. Yeah, he's only grown like five centimeters. That's only like two inches. You don't seem like you've changed much. As energetic as ever, I see. <laughs> Randy's like, hmm? damn, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Milliam, it's been so long. Sheesh. <laughs> Alright, man. It was nice of you to pop in. I'll see you later. Been Get a some while, good Schwarzer. sleep. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. But hey, I'm glad the place you got tossed to is working out so well for you. Your boy Lecter, how dare you, you traitor. <laughs> Not quite sure I understand what you're getting at. I bet you drink iron for breakfast. But it's good to see you again. It's been since the end of last year, right? <laughs> right you are. I mean, he's got stuff to do. He's a busy man. Chloe's a busy girl. A pleasure seeing you again too, Miss Herschel. <laughs> the Major's not giving you a hard time, is he? Uh, oh no, we're all fine here. <laughs> if we could get to the matter at hand, Major Arundel. And can't forget you. It's been a while since we saw each other, too. Hello, huh, Orlando. I heard our leader asked you for quite the doozy of a favor. Sorry about that. You're not sorry. Don't don't even lie to us, Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like you, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's a pain, but I still owe you one, so let's call it even, yeah? <laughs> well, that's a weight off my chest. Then that leaves... Principal Aurelia, you're not going to charm your way into her good uh, graces. What's wrong, Ironblood? <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. Go ahead. Continue with your reunions. Nope. I need to make an introduction now. <laughs> Imperial Army Intelligence Division, Special Affairs, Major Lector Arundel. It's an honor to meet you. Say it louder for the ladies in the back. Oh, I suppose this is the first time we've met like this, isn't it? Though considering the events that led me here... It certainly doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Wow! <laughs> She's the Golden Rakshasa? Damn. That ire. I might hate Lecter, but Max Middleman's a good voice actor. Major Lecter's certainly formidable himself, but... Uh, I can feel the tension in the air. Children, put your weapons away. Anyway, let's get to the main topic. <laughs> We seem to have majors from both the RMP and Intelligence Agency here today. Now then, what sort of fascinating things will you tell us, I wonder? <laughs> uh... This picture is terrible. Who drew this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whatever we're doing, it doesn't sound too great for us. So, whose organization was it that thought this up? Instructor Michael? Major Arundel? It was both of us. We did it together. Well, not really. It came from the Chancellor. <laughs>
there have been disturbances in the west half of the Empire. Multiple Jaeger Corps have been spotted, as well as agents of the Society Ouroboros. <laughs> Thor's newly established branch cabis will be tasked with handling these threats. <laughs> that it has, but it hasn't quite uh, figured out voice acting for all the scenes. There is a lot of text, so I'm willing to forgive it for that. <laughs> yeah, these kids have been in school for literally three weeks, and now we're going to send them up against Jaegers and Ouroboros. I think that's, uh, that's a bit too hasty. <laughs> Yep. The re only reason we have the school is because we could throw these children at uh, crazy, scary threats, you know, and have them die pointlessly. The uh, true measure of a military country, right? <laughs> but, you know, Calvar and Erebonia's uh, relations have apparently gotten way worse since the events of Cold Steel 2 likely due to the uh, annexation of Crossbell. <laughs> and apparently there's a big information war going along going along with, you know, this actual slowly building up cold war. So it seems like, you know, the Intelligence Division's busy, the RMP's busy, everybody's busy. <laughs> and because they're focused so much on the eastern side of the Empire, they need somebody to watch their backs from, you know, terrorist groups and the like. That's our job. <laughs> but I mean, as, uh raw and uh, young as the students are, you've got some really great instructors here. They'll be fine. But yeah, I mean, it's understandable. Ouroboros was behind a lot of terrible events, like most of the So games. <laughs> and apparently a bunch of Jaeger, they're all on the move. All on the move at the same time. <laughs> and they're not deploying the students to no minds of battle at the very least. But still, it's a terrible... It's a terrible waste of human resources to let your... Barely hatched soldiers into, uh... Live combat against some of the most dangerous threats in the continent. Oh, but we're getting an armored train. That almost makes up for it. <laughs> yeah, damn straight they had a good budget. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, did he say they have the Crimson Wings? Like, are they actually literally using the Courageous? They aren't. That's... I feel like something got messed up there. Randy is known as the Red Reaper, or the Red Wing, by some people, so maybe that's what they were getting at. And if I remember from the translation, I think that's actually what, uh... They meant by, you know, the Ashen Chevalier, one of the greatest tacticians, and, uh... The Crimson Wings. They probably meant, you know, Reen, Toe, and Randy. But, I mean... It's not like just because something's unreasonable doesn't mean it's not necessary. So... We got business. And our special mission will be taking place in the Sutherland Province. Somewhere we haven't been yet. And we'll apparently we'll be going on April the 21st. On the Durflinger. Whatever the Durflinger is. We'll find out. <laughs> I, I know I'm saying that a lot. 
But it, it's a cool train. I hope. I hope it's a cool train. <laughs> but yeah, you're soldiers. You don't have a choice in what orders you follow. Yeah, you can't just go blurting out confidential information. That'd be like bringing electronic devices into a protected area. And, I mean, who does that? It's not like any of these people are politicians. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it seems like Lecter's gonna be sticking around here for a few hours, so... Yeah, we're gonna be babysitting Milliam. <laughs> and then apparently Toa needs to do some research, as she does. <laughs> So that just leaves us to do whatever. And speaking of doing whatever, uh, this is going to be the last time I checked the straw poll. Let's see what the final results ended up being. Okay, so Altina got even more votes from the last time I looked at this. She's up to seven now. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it the poll here. Altina wins. Yuna's in second, so I'll prioritize her events as well. And then Elisa and the bros got three votes each. So, if it comes down to it, I'll uh, look at their events if they uh, if they end up enough high enough on the priority list. Otherwise, I'm just doing as I damn well please. <laughs> so, yeah. Now Reen's going to show Milliam around the town after finally seeing the town for himself. Alright then, so... We could show her around town right away, but... We've got a bonding point, we got a few miscellaneous things to do, and there is a hidden side quest here. Uh, we could talk to Toa to do her event, but uh, we have someone with a higher priority. Yuna has her uh, bonding event right now, so let's go check this one out. She's all the way out in the field over here. And as you can see, I also have her in her casual clothes. Which actually makes no sense since she's playing tennis. So let's, uh, let's fix that real quick here. I, I like the ribbon, but only when she's wearing the casual outfit. Um, yeah, you need to be playing against a taller wall than that, Yuna. <laughs> okay, it looks like she's decided on her club. She's joining the tennis club. <laughs> Aww. Aww. She's a cute little thing. Are you helping her find her parents or something? Oh no. She's actually my daughter in law, kind of? <laughs> is that how that works, or is uh, Milliam also his daughter? <laughs> Wait, now they're going with Tilly? I don't like Tilly as a nickname for Altina at all. <laughs> Seriously, who is she? <laughs> Fine, never mind then. <laughs> yep. Apparently Yuna's really enjoying it. Let's let's help her out. <laughs> I 
Wait, Reen, are you being a busybody again? Are you trying to get another girl in your harem? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Good job, Yuna. <laughs> Wait, you still here? Yeah, she, she was so engrossed in her tennis that she uh, completely forgot that, you know, there's two people standing right behind her collecting all their tennis balls. <laughs> I was wondering why the basket wasn't running out of balls. <laughs> And of course, Reen was definitely watching her closely. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> and of course, he'll come running. He always does. Crossbell has many trials awaiting it, but we will overcome them. Yuna, I want you to fight and struggle to overcome your own trials as well. <laughs> Why does he have to remind me of him? <laughs> because, you know, protagonist power. <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> God damn it, Milliam. You, you crazy troll. <laughs> so our bond with Yuna is strengthened because of this, and, you know, it's awesome, awesome stuff. Let's, uh, pop on over to the rooftop here, because we've got a hidden quest up here. Seems like Pablo has something to say here. Uh, looks like Pablo is out of luck. He hasn't been able to find a club for himself. That's not good. <laughs> Please, geez, a hand. <laughs> He's not got a Scooby. Man, Scottish stuff. I got to start all over for square one. How do you mean? Well, I actually got a wee bit of a reputation for being curious to trains and railways. I wanted to start a railway club, but could not find anyone else to join. I was running out of time, so I went to the principal to ask if I could start a club by myself. It didn't take her long to shoot me down and tell me I'm a boring guy, though. <laughs> Crazy railway manias. Aye, she started g all about it, how club activities are for demonstrating the composure of a citizen of the Empire. And how will you accomplish that sitting around doing something you're already skilled at, she says to me. <laughs> uh, you better come up with a better plan. Join the cooking club. Just like Milliam did. <laughs> Looks like he's more about eating than cooking, so, you know, he'll have to look around for other things. And it doesn't look like any of the other uh, clubs catch his interest. <laughs> oh, what you do for your school festival? <laughs> oh, man. I don't have to do Becky's Scottish accent, I have to do Pablo's Scottish accent now. Uh, what? Playing rock music sounds pure dead badass. <laughs> I listen to it quite a bit. Sounds that shake your soul like a surging wave, yet feel familiar and nostalgic too. Just like the sound of a train chugging along the tracks. 
<laughs> uh, well, I mean, hey, this is a good idea. Let's get him to join a music club. Yeah, they don't have to be orchestras. A modern music club. If you start looking now, you might be able to get some members. Especially since we know at least one or two members who are currently not in the club right now. So it sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> Miss Milliam. Damn, never thought I'd see the day. Let's help him find some club members. And since we're, you know, already given advice, we might as well, uh, we might as well keep on pushing and get him some club members. Let's go check around the town for him, since he's going to be dozing around the campus here. <laughs> Getting the band together. Oh, that's a great name for this quest. Better than the, uh, very plain translation that you get in the, uh, Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, right. It looks like Kurt's decided on his club. He's not going to be joining us. He's joined the chess club with Sydney. <laughs> My what now? <laughs> uh, apparently Kurt's pretty popular with the ladies. <laughs> of course he does. God damn it, Sydney. <laughs> Apparently he's uh, picked up Vantage Masters because he wants to date the card game girl. But, uh, Joey Wheeler, you are not. Let's take him on. I uh, got some new cards along the way here, so. Let's see what we can do. Alright! Game on! Hey, we won. We won the coin flip. Um, let's go change that for the time being. And immediately draw it again. Okay. Oh man, he's really throwing on the buffs now. Alright. will do. Oh, man. He's really got that buffed up. It's hitting like a truck. have my archers attack from range here, I guess. Okay. Oh, he's got an archer of his own. Don't know why he's moving it to the front lines, but... You know, 
You do you, sweetie. Um, let's get it off the table at the very least. Seems like blazing up my uh, archers is probably the best strategy I have in this game. Um... And I'm just gonna suicide my two monsters into it to kill it. Damn it! There we go. Easy peasy. And we got the Hepatis cards for our troubles. Uh, I guess that's a fire card? Yeah. Two damage, no abilities. It's a grizzly bear, basically. <laughs> it is literally a grizzly bear. So, I don't know how that'll fit in my deck, but... It's probably better than what I have in there right now. <laughs> my archer doesn't have Noble Phantasm. I'm going to put a couple of my decks since they're red ones and they go with my blaze cards here. Um... Actually, hell, do I have a third one? Of no, I don't. I was thinking I might have a third one of those so I could put that in. But instead, I'm going to use a third one of these. And I'm just going to build my deck like fire style. That seems to be the best uh, best plan I have. Whatever. Okay, that's enough. That's enough fooling around with that. Um... Our buddy asked us to check around leaves here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, lo and behold, we've got a green exclamation point over Valerie here, who still hasn't found a club yet. <laughs> who in the world is that? Oh, you know, just some random girl we found on the street. Well, isn't that kind of you, Instructor? <laughs> yep, that's true. Everybody, everybody joined the Harem Club. <laughs> well, okay. Everyone who is attracted to Reen joined the Harem Club. <laughs> Otherwise, don't, don't join the Harem Club. Otherwise, it's not going to be a very fun club for you. <laughs> Have you heard of Northern Rock? Well, just the name. It's Rock from the North. Because it's... Yeah, you know, Northern countries like Ramapharia, Northambria, and Jirai. But of course, Crow would know. Crow knows everything about Jirai. <laughs> and apparently she's actually a musician. <laughs> well, Pablo found a few members. That's pretty good. Um, that's that's one member. That doesn't count as a few. <laughs> Apparently he's into rock as well. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, I only play the sex. I mean the sax. <laughs> hey, you'll just have to suck it up and give it a bash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we got... 
We got some peeps for the Modern Music Club. And, uh, Millian with the helpful advice, go bug green, he knows how to play the guitar. <laughs> Here's oh, this. thanks, lords! Oh, thanks, lords. Oh, god. <laughs> uh, oh, Pablo. Pablo's the best. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, take the tutorial, I guess. Or, not the tutorial, the, uh, the tour. We're gonna go, we're gonna go bug everyone and everyone in this tiny two-horse town. And away we go. <laughs> nice, Scottish mate. <laughs> Apparently Kyrie's not much of a sword fighter. He's more of an Orbal Staff user. There's nothing unmanly about an Orbal Staff. <laughs> it's not that I don't understand where you're coming from, but he's pretty shallow. Yeah, that's that's true. God. He wants to be manly, but he doesn't know the first thing about being a man. It's okay. Maybe... Maybe some... Dashing young student will show him how to become a man. Through the, uh... Through the power of male bonding. <laughs> no. Uh... Apparently, Altina left the after club activities. That's not very good. <laughs> don't don't die on us, Wayne. Pool water is disgusting. <laughs> so it looks like swimming didn't work out for Gustav, but he found his uh, he found his niche. And Gina's more pumped up than ever before. Do, 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 do. Looks like Yuna's still out there putting stuff away. I'll see if anyone's hanging out in the garden. They are great, not... All right, I won't worry about it. Yeah, let's uh, let's just explore the town now. If I'm missing anybody important, I'm missing somebody important. It happens. <laughs> Wonder what who they're talking about. Okay, apparently they're talking about their son, Frankie, who seems to be a bit of a layabout. It happens. Actually, funnily enough, we, uh... We met somebody who was kind of like that, too, in Trails in the Sky. Uh, the former Raven Belden. But... He kind of changed his tune after a while. Anyway, let's show the Intelligence Division member the black market store here, because that sounds like a great idea. And of course, Randy's here too. <laughs> oh, Randy. He must have been pretty. Unique. That's for sure. Oh, it's a doggy. <laughs> And we don't bark at the customers. <laughs> All the contraband I'm getting in lately has been kind of lacking quality. Damn, I screwed up. Crap ton of Jaeger core in the Empire. No point in demand if I ain't got the supply. Hey, you want a submachine gun? I'll make it real cheap for you. 
That depends. Is it legal? Reen, are you actually- do you actually want a submachine gun? Somebody draw me Reen just, like, dual-wielding submachine guns. We'll call it Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> gonna use lots of water. Gonna make it nice and shiny. <laughs> a girl was testing her aim with a machine gun. What is with that store? Is it for terrorists or something? <laughs> uh, you know, m maybe, might be. Oh god, I didn't, I didn't save enough money to uh, to buy the uh, the cosmetic items. Damn it! Oh well. Oh well. Oh, what happened here? Oh, hey, if it isn't Frankie. Um, this doesn't match what the mayor was telling us about him. Seems like a kind young man. Not everyone would go out of their way to help someone out who's hurt on the street. Anyway, let's talk to Monk here. <laughs> you plan to take your class anywhere outside leaves? Well, actually. Oh, hell yeah, this is the kind of scoop I need. <laughs> and apparently, uh, you know, we're gonna do some quid pro quo with Monk here. Luckily, we're not politicians, so that's a-okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is a little sub-quest you can do throughout the game. You contact Monk from time to time about stuff you've done, and uh, he'll give you gifts for it. It's a, it's a nice little thing to show that, you know, you really care about your friends. Just like her. Oh, Daisy. That's one dynamite sister. Hey, I'll swat off of this maid uniform for some holy vestments. We we get it. You're hot. You're hot for sister. <laughs> uh, I love this game sometimes. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> you get taller. Your boobies definitely got bigger, that's for sure. Man, it's so unfair. <laughs> Please stop harassing the nun. They're gonna talk about you-know-what in secret. Not for little kid ears. Big secret adult stuff. <laughs> Yes, what a coincidence. We know you're in on this. Don't don't lie to us. Don't even pretend. Apparently the kids can't beat Rachel. <laughs> exactly. Give the nun all your money. And then, you know, join her in some satanic cult ritual or whatever. You know, classic fun stuff. We don't need the accessory. <laughs> uh... But yeah, leave them to their... Leave them to their devices. Go on with our stuff. There is uh, one very important place we have to go to. 
and we need to show Milliam the dorms. Yeah, it looks like uh, Muse and Tatiana are having a nice little chat. <laughs> Oh, by the way, something I want to ask you about. Do you have any literature like this? It can't be. Where did you get this? I feel a chill in the air. Something ominous just happened. I never imagined I'd find someone who shared my interest in stories like this. Um, they're talking about a boy's love doujin. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Guys, we've raised a monster. We've raised several monsters. <laughs> Looks like Freddy's joined the cooking club. Oh god. Wild locust soup? Ooh. Certainly smells very strong. But apparently a little bit of maple sugar makes the locust taste go away. Way to go, guys. Revolutionary. I make this all the time, though. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> She's already had green tea, but now she can have black tea. <laughs> uh, she really, really likes her tea. But apparently Jessica has to worry about her weight, so she's jealous. Of course. Food is the ultimate healing. And she has a separate stomach for dinner. God damn, girl, you can really put it away. <laughs> anyway. The most important thing of all, we need to show Millie in the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, I know... We're kind of on a time limit here, but sure, let's let's just have a bath. It's fine. It's fine, guys. This isn't strange at all. Toasty. Reen, take your glasses off in the bath. <laughs> and of course she's tried out the bath at Eustace's mansion. Aww. And there'll be Millie and Tilly with Flammy and Sammy. Together we'll form a band and solve mysteries. Oh god. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. That's okay. Clown Soleus can be on the microphone. <laughs> yep, I'm afraid not. We don't get to have any anything looter than that yet. That's that's all I'll say on, on that regard. Uh, nobody on this floor? Let's see if anyone's up here, but I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, check out the food store and see if there's anybody here. Probably not. Let's just talk to the old man here. <laughs> I will be nice to the instructor. ha ha <laughs> he seems like a good dude. Let's trade him some fish. Um, let's get the silver earring. Aw, <laughs> oh, that that is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that on Reen for the moment. Uh, Milliam has some equipment on that we can't adjust, but we could give her accessories if need be. 
And yeah, I put everyone in their casual wear. I should probably, I should probably fix that. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't like their casual wear, but uh... God, this hat is so dumb. Of course Kurt would wear this dumb, stupid hat. Ugh. And I mean, this, this is just, you know... Like, this is casual wear? Who would wear this in public? Altina, no. She also has this. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. I feel like having that on for any longer than a second would be, uh... Would be, like, grounds for the FBI to storm my house and, like, kill me in, in cold blood. So, we're not, we're not gonna do that. I like being alive. For the time being. <laughs> uh... Now that's a true disappointment. <laughs> Holy shit, Milliam. Don't eat all the bread. She also has special pancakes, which, uh, Altina seems to be, uh, enjoying at the moment. <laughs> Just normal toast with butter. Why is it so good? Is it because the owner's so pretty? That can't be it. It might be. She's eating pancakes, obviously. With a big-ass fork. <laughs> I am recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. <laughs> How was your briefing? Oh god, it's Milliam. <laughs> that voice. Hey, Attili, how you been? What is she doing here? <laughs> uh, God, this is so cute. And hey, can you stop calling me Tilly? But your name's kind of hard to say, you know? You can call us Millie and Lammy. I will not. And I never accepted your name for Clown Soleus. Ah, that's a typo. Uh. Hello, this is Reen Schwarzer. You don't need to tell me your name. I know who I called. <laughs> of course, it's Professor Schmidt. What an asshole. Now that the briefings are over, you must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to Einhell Keep. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. A child from the intelligence agency. Perfect timing. Come here the moment you're ready. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, God. Professor Schmidt. What an asshole. Looks like we've got crap to do. <laughs> He's got one of those big pockets with the, uh, you know, the chains and such. It's also a battle ornament. It's very effective. Aw, Altina's jealous. She wants to come with us. <laughs> Please don't affiliate me with you. Aw. <laughs> Understood. I shall proceed to eat pancakes. <laughs> So once you talk to Altina again, you'll automatically go to the keep. So, make sure to make yourself a save. I mean, I've got a bajillion saves. 
not only on my on this playthrough but on my uh, Japanese playthrough as well so <laughs> but that's just what I do but yeah they're giving you the reminder hey all the stuff you need to do will disappear if you haven't done it already luckily we have done it all already so let's let's just go I can handle this myself. <laughs> After that, Altina unwillingly shared her pancakes with Milliam. I like to imagine Milliam just like grabbed the entire stack and licked them all. And he's like, haha, they're all mine now. I could I could totally see Milliam doing that. Uh Of course, Tita's here, too. Hey, Grandpa Schmidt. It's been a while. How you been? As always, you're an insufferable little child. And stop calling me Grandpa. I see the Black Rabbit is with you as well. Yes, is there a problem? <laughs> and I'll give... Oh. <laughs> Bribery, huh? Well, you know, I am really, really weak to bribery, so... Mmm. Alright. I'll put her in the... I'll put her in the Kitty Noir outfit for this episode. Uh, I'm going to jail, aren't I? Cops are gonna kill me, aren't they? I'll have to wait until this cutscene's over before I can do it, of course, but... Yeah, I do... I do like bribes. Speaking of bribes, I have a Patreon account, if you wanna... slide some money that way, at, uh, patreon.com slash logicblade. What? No, I'm not... I'm not desperate for that, no. What are you talking about? I'm not crazy. <laughs> and apparently he wants to continue on with the uh, trials and the exam here. Testing out Reen's strength and, and whatnot. <laughs> well... Last time we had a Magic Knight to deal with, and that was the easiest course. And of course, Milliam's like, oh, hell yeah, this sounds like fun. Participation in these trials is not mandatory. However, one of the conditions for my working here was that the Ashen Chevalier would participate in my experiments. So if you choose not to participate, there's no further reason for me to remain at this school. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty selfish. That's not my problem. I know about the special lessons. Would it not be beneficial to practice the Arcus 2's new functions here and now? <laughs> I really need to set up like a coffee or something for one-time payments. I mean, I, I have a PayPal technically for that purpose, but... If you want the link... Just uh, DM me either in Twitch or Discord, and I'll send it to you. <laughs> and of course, Serene's like, yep, we're going to go ahead and do this trial, because why not? So before we get started, I shall go. Right. 
we're going to jail everyone. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome to jail. Welcome to jail time. Jail time with Reen Schwarzer. Here we go. Yes! We can also modify our ornament, but we can't really modify our ornament because we don't have enough Sephit to do so. We also exchange Thanks. that for Mira, but no real reason to. I'll help! Um. I don't think we have anything we can synthesize here just yet. Thanks. All right. I'll help. Yeah. Thanks. Nope. All right, and away we go. We. Don't you find it cold in here, Altina? <laughs> so cute. It's great. Alrighty then. Let's begin the operation. Welcome to level one. <laughs> yeah, we started in the underground, and now we're slowly climbing the uh, giant-ass cube here. The entire internal structure is completely different now. Grandpa Schmidt's pretty badass. I'm super psyched to check this place out. As in the previous trial, your goal will be to reach the furthest point. Use of the Divine Knight is still prohibited. I recommend you don't let your guard down. I'll do my best to help you navigate again. Good luck to all of you. <laughs> uh... Alrighty then. And for the first time, we have both Milliam and Altina in our party. So this will be fun. Tally-ho! Let's get at it. Let's get at it. And we have orders available to us now. Uh, Altina's order, Ebon Crest. And Milliam's order, White Decoration. And Reen's gonna be uh, using the second form. Gale. Beginning search. Eh. And got a charging station right here at the beginning. Uh, I can't mess around with uh, Milliam's quartz at all here. But that's fine. We're just gonna go along with this for now. There. Our chance to attack. So Gale uses 80 CP, but it has delay attached to it. It's pretty powerful, so it's a pretty nice craft. Second form, Gale. It's down. Million, let's go. Okay. Ha! My turn. Target's eliminated. Move out. All 
Alrighty then. That seemed to be effective. So yeah, there are certain breakable objects on the field. If you have a character with a strike rating of A or higher, they'll break it open for you. If you're curious about where your weapon ratings are, they're in your status thing here. So Reen has a double S rank in Slash, that first one there, and nothing in either Pierce, Thrust, or Smash. Or Strike, I suppose. Milium is double S in Strike. And Altina is S in Strike, but also has B in Slash. So she's fairly effective at unbalancing yeah. both of those Pillars situations. Eliminated. We may now continue. <laughs> Glad I have you here. <laughs> gotcha! Second form, down! I'm up! And you can see uh, Milliam's crafts here. Again, you can see the CP costs for a lot of these have gone way up since the last game. But uh, we're gonna try Megaton crafts here. Because delay is great. And so is painting. <laughs> we won! Crap. Uh, shutters. A few of there. them, actually. Uh, try and find a way to roll them back up. Alright, so that way is blocked off until we can uh, break the shutters. Located. So we'll just have to grab the treasure for now. And the airstrike R quartz. Anyway, the actual path forward is to head up the ladder here. There. <laughs> gotcha. Crimson slash. It's down. An opening. Yeah, why not? Let's uh, show this off too. Lammy hammer! Cob lamb! Now. That's a pretty solid move. Uh, you can see that these guys unbalance really easily with slash moves. So Reen and uh, Altina are actually pretty good at that. I'm up! Of course, Altina's Crimson not slash. a very strong physical attacker, so it's not really. That good. Battle complete. Let's continue. <laughs> and the reason that enemy died is because it was on fire. And it burned itself to death. As, uh... As these things do. <laughs> gotcha! Get back! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Here I go! Get lasered! <laughs> Did she actually just say get I lasered? Shall go. Well, alright. Activate fire! Battle complete. Let's continue. Since those moves hit on Art's defense, they do way more damage to those uh, grass drones. It's a pretty useful thing to have. Yeah. This is the end. <laughs> gotcha. Woohoo! Light decoration. Second form, Gale. I shall go. Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. Here I go! Anyway, on zero order turns, you get free orders, so... If you need a certain thing, or a certain recovery, or whatever, just, uh... Let's go! Raging fire formation! Feel free to do that. I'm up! Lammy hammer! Come lamb! No, three Let's breaks go. at once. Nice. I'll assist. My turn. Yeah. 
Oh, it's still alive. Now. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah. Let's go. Crimson Slash. All right. Nice work. So yeah, the fights in this area aren't Treasure too bad. Located. This early on, it's uh, more later on that they start to get a bit more, uh, a bit more annoying. Uh, I'd rather put that on Altina because Altina is going to be in my party a lot longer than Milliam is going to be in my party. If the uh, locked equipment wasn't any indication that she wouldn't be staying along for long. Now, bring it on! Anyway, they send a whole bunch of these at us, which is a perfect opportunity for us to use Gale. Fortunately, we can't hit all six of them, but five is pretty good. Second form, Gale! Woohoo! Green isn't quite strong enough to kill them all in a single move, but. Million will certainly help there. Now, Brionac, activate fire. Now, an opening. <laughs> Let's go. Huh. Damn it, Reen! You're supposed to kill it. <laughs> I shall go. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. I'm up. Ha! Yahoo! How about that? Whatever, that's fine. Team Tiny. It's doing just fine. <laughs> well, they are pretty much sisters. And model numbers are almost the same, too. Black Rabbit, Altina. Model name OZ74. Commencing operation. Whoa! Crazy! Yours is just one off mine! Let's do this, Lammy! Remember that? That's only if you actually brought Million with you Milliam, to uh, that Altina, fight. I've known you two for a while now, and I think I was always aware of it to some extent. Huh? Instructor Ring? That was a very awkward, huh? I know both of you came from the mysterious Black Workshop. Then, your memories of your time there were erased, and you were handed over to the Intelligence Division. I also know you somehow have the ability to synchronize with a combat shell. <laughs> and that we're technically not human? Yep. <sighs> that was something we were always suspicious about, given the way they acted about certain things, but yeah. Milliam and Altina aren't humans, per se. Although he did not outright state it, he alluded to it multiple times. Indeed, we are homunculi, artificially created beings. Yeah, they're homunculi. And if you're thinking, this is totally out of left field, where the hell did alchemic creations as homunculus come from? Well, all I have to say to that is, play Trails to Zero and you'll find out that homunculus have been a thing in this series for a while, actually. But biologically speaking, we're pretty much the same as normal humans, you know? Yeah. Hmm. But then, that doesn't explain why I haven't grown at all lately. <laughs> Agreed. However... I believe I still have the potential to grow taller. Oh yeah? Well, I'm not gonna lose to you, Pipsqueak. <laughs> Settle down, girls. I've known in the back of my mind for a while, and I've heard things here and there from each of them. The Black Workshop. The group that betrayed the society and was taken in by him at the end of the Civil War. I tried to investigate it during all the missions the government had me go on, but I always came up empty-handed. <laughs> These two have had their memories of their time there erased, and even Major Lecter doesn't know anything about it. Well, nothing that he's gonna say about it anyway. Why in the world 
Did they create Milium and Altina? I'm sure the answer to that question is not important in the slightest. Hello, Milium Doreen. Come in, Doreen. Come on. What are you zoning out for? No, I was are just you thinking. feeling unwell? If so, we should take a short break. I was just thinking, you must be cold in that swimsuit. Oh, don't worry. Let me I'm warm fine. you up. <laughs> Milium, Altina, no matter what else happens, you're both still you. Hmm? <laughs> well, yeah, duh. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything you need to thank me for. If we loiter here too much longer, it will affect the test results. If there are no problems, let us continue onward. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty then! Let's go, go, go! <laughs> uh, Million's taking a little while to get used to, but I don't mind her new voice. Got some yeah. bee larva. Gross. Gross. Alright. Yeah, let's set up this ladder first before checking anywhere else. <laughs> but then she loses her Moe appeal. Can't be Moe if you have a chest. Let's hop back down. Fortunately, there will be no hopping. We have to go down the ladder at normal speeds like everyone else. Oh, I should probably, uh... Take this opportunity to heal Milliam. Eh. Eh. Our chance to attack! Crimson Slash! I'm up! <laughs> what? No, that's a crime. That's also his daughter, and that's very rude. <laughs> Get lasered! Get lasered. That's that's now. what I have to say to that. I'll support Arjun here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn! That barely did any damage at all. Alright. Crimson Slash! Woohoo! Get lasered! I shall go. Brionac, activate! Fire! There! An opening! Let's go! Sit! And there we go. Broken. All right. Nice work. This game's better than Final Fantasy X? Absolutely it is. It's uh, one of the best in this series. And this series is pretty damn good. Oh hey Brown Banana Peel. How's it going? Glad yeah. you can make it to the stream. Charge complete. How have you been? <laughs> eh. Wow. There. <laughs> gotcha. I I guess you'll just have to find out. M maybe there is. Form. Damn. Now, let's go, Altina. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs> uh, that's always that's always good to see. <laughs> now it just means you have to be up at ungodly hours of the night Brianna, so you can activate. join our join my streaming. <laughs> now, an opening. Woohoo! And let's just punch this guy. Yeah! I shall go. Yeah. Target's eliminated. Move out. And Stats Altina gained a level. Good job, Altina. Way to go. 
No, I, uh... There's a treasure chest in this little... little doohickey here. And it's, uh, blonde hair for Milliam. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, there's cosmetic accessories that also change uh, hair color as well. <laughs> A real man holds his Tachi with the hand in his heart. Or, sorry. He grasps the Tachi of his heart. I, I forget how that saying goes. But, uh, needless to say... He makes the impossible possible. Row, row, fight the power. Head pat both of your daughters at the same Begin time. Combat. <laughs> what a rebel. Second form, damn! I'm up! Get him, Lammy! I shall go. Reenact, activate, fire. Yeah, they changed all the names of his arts, and it's really, it's really just strange. I'm up. <laughs> like, yeah, Crimson Slash, Crescent Flash, Gale's still Gale, but it's now. The amount of AP for it's changed quite a great deal, and now it just doesn't feel the same. Forma! Iron Will Formation! My turn. It's my turn! Huh. I'm up! Get lasered! <laughs> <laughs> we won! If... Alright. Another mandatory fight. Another... Oh, come on, that wasn't exhausting at all. <laughs> no, thank you. There's only one person I want to give me a piggyback ride, and he's standing right in front of me. <laughs> Since I'm a newer model, my specs are superior. You should treat me with more respect. <laughs> the OZ in your model numbers. I don't suppose you know what it means, do you? <laughs> what? No. No, don't... Don't talk about my secret love for Sledgehammer. That's... That's... That's forbidden love. But hey, it's what the people wanted. The people want more Sledgehammer. I mean, more Yuna, so... I will. <laughs> of course, Reen has a few small gaps in memory, but... That's not too surprising, I mean... I don't remember very much from before when I was... Before I was five. Hell, I don't remember much from my childhood at all. I mean, I have memories, they're just, you know, really fuzzy and faded now that I'm an old-ass man. <laughs> How does it feel to be awake, William O'Ryan? I was... I was bribed. Someone, ha someone has bribed me into putting her in her swimsuit. I welcome you as the newest member of the Iron Bloods. Your first task will be to learn from the others. <laughs> nope, can't be anything at all. It can't be OZ for Osborne or anything. Ah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> this isn't all part of Osborne's master plan or anything. Not at all. <laughs> Scarecrow is one thing, but how did you turn out with such a personality studying under the Icy Maiden? <laughs> I 
Is everyone all right? <laughs> Stopping to chat during a trial. You're certainly relaxed now, aren't you? If you've had enough of a break, then get moving. <laughs> eh, whoopsie, we got in trouble. <laughs> Although my basic specs are more up to date, there's a difference in experience between us. <laughs> The G is for Greg. Oh, no, no. It's it's not Greg. It's, uh... Greg with three Gs. Because <laughs> you just know Professor Schmidt is a three G kind of guy. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the gate forward, so we can hit that. Of course, I say that's the gate forward, but I, uh, I'm missing a treasure chest. <laughs> You're almost there, everyone! Huh? What's wrong, Professor? <sighs> nothing. Just concentrate on the trial. There's nothing What's wrong at all. On? Apparently, uh, Professor Schmidt's feeling there. impotent here. Our chance! Or rather, uh, Professor Greg. Crimson Slash! I shall go. Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! My turn. Bria Knight, activate! Fire! Uh, it's this night. It hasn't there. come up yet. An opening! After yeah. these events, we get, uh, we get some more oven time. Get lasered! Monk's new radio show at 9 p.m. on Radio Trista. <laughs> yeah. It's my turn! Huh. I shall go. Yeah. Target's eliminated. Move out. Nintendo Switch is my waifu. No. <laughs> oh boy, it's a treasure chest! That's right, it's a treasure chest. We got some we got some treasure chests right here. How long are these games? Um I think my playthrough of Cold Steel 3 was 90 hours or so. Yeah, high two-digit hours sounds about right. To low three digit, yeah. These are long games, and this is one of the longest in the series, so... You want lots and lots of gameplay. Now. You got a lot to look forward to. I'll support Arjun Heal. Thanks! Thanks! Oh yeah, if you're on Nightmare, this takes forever. Here I go! It's not fun, unless you're playing New Game Plus. But I mean, that's what it's there for, so... It'd be irresponsible not to use it for that purpose. Oh god, they're howling at me. It's my turn. Uh guess what? Arcus activate! Re and cast spells. <laughs> yeah. I shall go. Oh, hey, Brionac is... activate fire. Brionac is your best friend for this area. Now. An opening! Let's go! Crimson Slash! It's down! I'll assist. <laughs> I'm up! I'll have to see what it sounds like. I haven't gotten to Shirley yet. There. Looking forward to it, though. <laughs> My turn. Brionite, activate! Fire! There! I mean, I just hope it's An deliciously axe-crazy. Let's go! <laughs> More Six. mature than expected, huh? Alright. Now, now I'm curious. Get lasered! 
Let's go! Ha! All right, nice work. Well, we'll see her soon enough. It'll probably be another episode or two, or three, or... But soon enough. But yeah, shutters are open. I'm going to ignore Big Turtle here. And just uh, head on over to the charging station here. This is a bit of an upgraded Orbman charging station. It allows you to uh, upgrade your slots as well. So. Yeah, there's also super special Orbman charging stations. This one's just regular special. Still don't have enough Sepit to boost anyone's, to open up anyone's slots here, so that's not a thing we're going to be doing at this point in time. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it definitely sounds like you do. <laughs> no point in making any, uh... No point in making any ornaments or making any quartz for our ornament since we don't have any spots to put them in. The one thing we will be doing is uh, making a save, though. Am I getting modern warfare? Uh, absolutely not. I've not played a Call of Duty game since the actual first Modern Warfare came out, and that was only because my brother got it at a bargain bin discount. <laughs> so yeah. And that's pretty much all I know about the Call of Duty series, because it did not appeal to me in the slightest. <laughs> Sorry to say. Muse new best girl? That's fair. Muse is pretty damn great. She's, she's one of my favorite, like, characters overall. A dead end. It's the end of the trial, but not really the end of the trial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Old Man Schmidt has a little more kick to it. Because that's what he does best. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think, what, when did the first Modern Warfare come out? Wasn't that like 2009 or 2008 or something? <laughs> uh, Professor, what are you doing? That monster isn't meant for level 1. I'm simply giving them the kick they asked for. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can take it out. This one's strong! Be careful! I mean, I think the only one I actually got right was uh, Alexis Tipton is uh, Muse. Which, I mean, that one felt, like, obvious. The rest of them I was kinda close, but kinda not. <laughs> Alright. So, for this fight... <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let's use an item. Let's find out what it's weak against. Yeah! So this is... Rontus? I thought he was Zuo. <laughs> okay, so he's weak against wind spells. His unbalance is, uh, pretty much even across the board. Um, yeah. I'm up! Standard stuff here. Crimson Slash! I shall go. He's basically super tanky, so. Woohoo! Light decoration! Oh, did I? My turn. Right, right, I did. I was like. <laughs> I was like, I recognize this voice. Why does this sound familiar? Oh yeah, it's it's totally Sakura, because Sakura from Fire Emblem Fates just 
just screamed Tita to me. I was like, yeah, that's that's perfect. Reanite, activate, fire. Now. An opening! <laughs> Uh, that was actually... I know my first choice for Yuna was uh, Christine Mary Cabanos, but uh, I think I had Erica Harlachter as like a second or third option. I was uh, not... not 100% sure on that one, but... Get lasered! It's my turn! Like that. Get back! Anyway, I'm gonna try to break this guy. I shall go. Oh. Oh, my identification. Okay, that's what you meant. Yeah, I mean, I I recognize some of their voices from other things. Uh, <laughs> unless I cheated. No. I'm not a cheater. That's not what I do. I'll support Arjun Heal. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. I'm up. Get lasered. Really wish I could stat down this guy. That would make this, you know, a bit more tenable. Yeah. Now. I'll assist. In any Fire. case. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, what was I saying? What was I even talking about? I don't know. All I know is that uh, busting him with cannons and stuff isn't working out very well for me. Um. Here I go. So yeah, let's try hitting with smarts. Let's go. Um... Crimson Slash! Oh god. <laughs> ah, shit. Strength depleted. I'm god, sorry. God damn it. Why is it getting so many turns yeah. now? Why is it getting so many turns now? Fuck. Oh, I fucked this up. Let's go! I thought my order would have lasted just a bit longer. Oh, Life decoration! I'm up! All right. Arcus, activate. Millions may get toasted a bit, but uh. Well, this kind of sucks. The white decoration thing should keep her alive for just a little while longer. Yeah. Yeah. Nay is the same V as Vita, which huh. yeah. They sounded very similar, so Thank I can you. at least understand that. Inez, I don't recognize. <laughs> but she just in the very slightest way reminds me of Laura. But I really don't think it's Marisha Ray. <laughs> and yeah, Aryan Rod is Shrami Lay, which uh she sounds different every time I hear her, so I can never really, like, put my finger on it. But yeah, for this fight, we're uh, keeping up the damage reduction, and just uh, it's my turn. Hoping we get enough brave points to keep up the uh, keep up the assault here. Crimson Slash! I shall go. <laughs> Maria Ise, isn't that isn't that a Japanese voice actor, or am I? Uh... Arcus, activate. Let's go! Am I just imagining things? Crimson Slash! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright. I shall go. It's gone ahead and used its uh, super move, which is super annoying. Search mode activate. <laughs> Detailed information obtained. Ah! Woohoo! 
Alright. I want to try and unbalance it, so... That's why I've got that set up like so. And... Crimson Slash! Now! An opening! Good. Now I have four, I so go. I can... I can feel alright about using this. Light decoration! My turn. Why else would uh, Milliam be using white decoration all the time if not to protect Altina here? Not in my watch! No. Let's go! Of course, Reen's not doing a good job as Altina's papa to protect her. <laughs> Crimson Slash! Here I go! Ha! Now! <laughs> yeah, we, we need more Instructor Sarah in our lives. She truly is, uh, Erebonian's, Erebonia's number one teacher. Sorry, Reen, you're not there quite yet. Alright, I got a couple of critical turns coming up here. I shall go. It would uh, almost certainly help if I had them linked for that, but you know, I tried. There. Language. Got it. Yes. Language. We are a family-friendly site here. Let's go. <laughs> I probably should have my auto mod stuff set up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Alright, where the hell's my filter? Do I have to go back to my... Okay, hold on one second while I find my frickin' filter. Ugh. I had it off for a moment, but now I have to... Where the heck is it? Alright, uh, hopefully that works. Otherwise, I don't know. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, they're all DLC, so you can pick those up at any time. Uh, there's a deluxe DLC bundle for, I think it was 34 Canadian. I'm not sure how much it is in American, but definitely less than it is in Canadian, that's for sure. My turn. All right. Form In any case, up. Iron Will Formation. Now. I'm gonna go back to my chat here. Hopefully that uh, that is fixed. And otherwise, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I tried. I certainly tried. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Beep. 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 Get that off the screen. Cool. All right. I'm feeling good now. Sorry about the uh, random delay there. Hopefully my auto mod settings are working as planned, and this fight is also working as planned. Grianak, activate. Fire. It's my turn! Anyway, you can see Reen has the Iron Will thing set up, but it does not as much damage reduction as uh, what we've got on Milliam for her move. Crimson Slash! Because Reen's kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. Woohoo! But. Yeah! 
We've almost gotten him beat up. Yahoo! How about yep, that? there we go. All right, good job, us. All right, got it. <laughs> Whoopee! And we even gained our level for our troubles. So yeah, that fight's basically, hey, you know how to use brave orders? Make sure you're using your brave orders. Otherwise, you're going to be in a load of trouble. Yeah, 25 USD isn't too bad. You get a lot of stuff for it, so I felt it was worth it. Unlike most of, uh... Most of DLC you run into from time to time. It's like, oh yeah, pay 200 bucks for all this DLC. It's like, oh, please no. <laughs> Altina doesn't want to be shown up. <laughs> Just took some time to apply her higher specs. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some really fun ones that I'm gonna play around with for sure. <laughs> Bino or Reno? What the hell? That's one hell of a nickname. <laughs> oh god, the Fate series is just loaded with costumes and DLC. Can't imagine. Can't imagine that kind of hell walking into it. All I know about Fate is basically what happens in Fate Stay Night. That's about it. <laughs> Batman. Alright, well, as long as we don't have to fight any more random battles, it sounds like... Sounds like a good time to escape the Reen Bean machine of hell that is Ein Hell Fortress. I'm gonna heal up again, though. <laughs> Uh, actually. No. I'm dumb. Why did I think there was going to be something in here? I was like, oh yeah, it's going to drop something. No, no, it doesn't. That's a lie. It doesn't, it doesn't drop anything. Yeah. Oh, hey, they, uh, they link up. Yeah. You can take advantage of that. Our too, up to three consecutive times, they grant their own tactical bonuses, and you get a whole bunch of experience for doing stuff like this, so. It's always a good idea. It's down! I'll assist. Here I go! Get laid! My turn. <laughs> Oof. Brionite, activate. Fire. All oh, right, they went with uh, <sighs> Jessica instead of Zessica. It's my turn. I recognized that, and I was like, I understand that, but they do that all the time. Sit. I think they did the same with uh, Aquarian Evolve, where <sighs> one of the main characters in the game's named Zessica, but they changed it to Zessica. Uh, to Jessica because it just makes there. more sense now to us native English speakers let's go raging fire formation now there huh there's more let's go crimson slash I'm up that it does. Z is the coolest letter in the alphabet. Get lasered! <laughs> well, but without localization, I wouldn't be able to play this in English for you guys. You'd have to deal with, you know, my Japanese voiceover of absolutely everything. <laughs> activate fire. Well, I mean, that is the correct way to say it. I could say it, I could say it incorrectly and call it Z, but who does that? What kind of savage barbarian would do that? <laughs> Everyone okay? Stats updated. <laughs> uh, so 
Superior Americanos. We need to build more walls, yeah. clearly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Please don't actually build more walls. <laughs> I like you Americans, actually. Like, I have no problem with the American citizens. I just have a problem with the American government. <laughs> yeah, we have a wall. We have several. <laughs> In fact, my house has four of them. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Anyway, we're done here. Hey, man. I'm so rich, I can buy three houses for $80 on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Look at this guy flaunting his opulence. Well, do you say X-Blade or do you say Crossblade? Because, I mean, Japan does that all the time too and it always bugs me when I see that. Yeah, we definitely couldn't have done it without abusing the brave orders of Milium. And Altina was there too. <laughs> but yeah, Milium's really good at tanking in this game, so if you want to damage tank, she's she's your girl. <laughs> no, that's not confusing at all. <laughs> not that I've paid attention to Kingdom Hearts since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out like 15 years ago. I don't even think that's exaggeration. Didn't it actually come out 15 years ago? <laughs> uh, early 2000s, yep. And of course, Tita's gushing over combat shells. Uh, it's great. She's adorable. She is without a doubt a Russell. So it appears the trial proved beneficial for you. Okay, so almost 15 years. Not quite, but pretty damn close. <laughs> Agate only knows how to fight. Maybe he is a combat shell, just deep down inside. <laughs> as long as I can perform my trials, I don't care who you bring. But given the nature of these special lessons, will there be a next time? There will. I'll make sure of it. I'm immune to dying, after all. <laughs> <laughs> and Lecter's like, holy shit, where the fuck were you? <laughs> Do I need something? Oh, well, since you asked. I seem to have lost a hyperactive little girl. Blue hair, combat shell. I don't suppose you've seen her now, hmm? I mean, Sammy can't dragon dive, but maybe, maybe he has more personality. <laughs> yeah, Milliam's got work to do. She's off to the Kreutzen province. <laughs> well, we're heading to the Sutherland province, so we won't be seeing each other for some time. I wanted to look at Air Getlum a little longer. Black Workshop. Professor? Hmm. I'm just being cryptic old man as usual. Don't mind me. Do your job and I'm going to go fuss about stuff. Hmm. Science. Meh. How can I be more sundary towards Reen? <laughs> Me too, man. Like, do you imagine, like, Randy, Agate, Gaius, and Ash all in the same party? Just screaming at each other and then getting hyped up, but then they'd all scream each other to death? That'd be fun. <laughs> and 
apparently, uh, the new Thor's Military Academy gets Milliam's stamp of approval. I can't believe Gaius is dead. I can't believe they killed Gaius off screen. Those bastards. Oh well. Rest in peace, Gaius. We. We knew you. I won't say fondly. I won't say well. But we knew you. <laughs> This is probably the blessings of the wind. He says as, uh... Someone farts on his face. Ugh! <laughs> Man, I am super duper jealous of you, Tilly. You get to be in class 7, and Reen's your teacher. Maybe I'll make a surprise transfer into this class 7, too. No, thank you. There's only room for one lolly here. And unfortunately, that spot's occupied. Unless you want to deal with my combat shell. <laughs> oh, I bet. Like, he went whole hard into it. <laughs> yep. Oh god, yep. No, I, I, I don't doubt it for a second. Hey there, guys. Oh, hi, Ash. What are you doing in the background there? Talking to the Intelligence Division guy. Certainly that's not foreshadowing for something or anything. No, not at all. What? What's foreshadowing? <laughs> Long time no see, Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, come on. You want to get out of here as soon as possible. Okay, <laughs> then. I'll catch you two on the flip side. Keep an eye on Reen for me, Tilly. <laughs> you too, Reen. Take good care of Tilly for me. Of course. We're a family now. I don't now. need to be reminded. I've already accepted this mission. Yep, I'm gonna be the best daughter in the world. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get tough, but do your best out there, Milliam. Oh, probably. He would, he would just be like, Hey guys, how's it going? Don't you have a job to do, Lecter? Yeah, winning mad bank. <laughs> you betcha! <laughs> well then, see you around. next time <laughs> yeah it's a promise hell yeah let's hang out Lecter's like oh my god you kids are so corny when I said bye to my girlfriend I just walked out of her life without saying a word why can't you be as cool as me um Lecter that's not cool at all it's actually a really big dick move there they go <laughs> <laughs> it's suddenly much quieter around here with Milliam gone. <sighs> Altina? Something wrong? Feel like going for a swim? She and I... Are we truly the same? No? My model number is higher, so I know my base specs should be superior to hers. Yet she's so... <sighs> Altina... Oh no, Altina's experiencing emotion. <laughs> what are you worried about? Milliam is Milliam, and you're you. Head pat time. I know you'll find it someday. A path you can follow. One that lets you be yourself. Me be myself? Today is just full of difficult problems. <laughs> yep. Many, many difficult problems. 
All right, then. Where's my Discord Nitro? <laughs> Dear Diary, Today I head patted my daughter. It was a good day. <laughs> Here it comes, my favorite fake radio show. <laughs> Won't help to overdo things, so I better finish up here. Remember all these cool people we met today? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> oh, that's right. I better turn on the radio. interesting show on tonight. It's almost time. Guess I'll give it a listen. <laughs> Dude, Monk's voice is so strange. Yeah, no. No, I know. It's... I didn't... It didn't make sense to me at all. And I don't know who it is either. It just... It just straight up bugs me. Wait, this song. I know this song. Good evening, listeners. It's 9 p.m. on April 16th, and you're listening to Radio Trista. <laughs> hey there, everyone. It's been a year and a half, but man, it feels more like three. Tonight is the long-awaited return of the hit radio show, Aubin Time. <laughs> a little bit on the nose there, huh, Vita? <laughs> but I'm sure among all you cheering longtime fans, there are a number of first-time listeners. So allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm the Azure Abyss, Vita Clotilde. My name is Misty, and I'll be your host. No. She's not going Due to with that. some unfortunate circumstances, Aubin Time went on an abrupt hiatus, without so much as a proper farewell. <laughs> but tonight, we're happy to announce we're finally back, thanks in no small part to the fervent demands of our adoring fans. And Reen's just, like, standing here with his mouth open. <laughs> Though I guess by now, our original batch of young listeners have graduated oh, I and bet joined you the did. workforce, huh? Ugh. <laughs> it's my hope that everyone out there can enjoy the reborn Aubin time. Whether you're a day one devotee or a fresh faced fan, welcome. <laughs> what? 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 What in the world are you doing, Vita? She's uh, hosting a radio We're show, Reen, obviously. In the of April, and the Lino flowers are in full bloom. Rest in peace, Grianos. F to pay respects to Grianos. Though I'm sorry to say my new recording studio doesn't have nearly as many as the old one. Nevertheless, spring remains a season for new encounters and nostalgic reunions both. I'm sure you're all busy with your new lives, but I hope you take the time to stop and watch these beautiful white flowers dance through the air. <laughs> Anyhow, I'd like to commemorate our return to the airwaves by reading some of the letters we've received from you listeners. Our first one is from Miss Old, Old Bookstore in St. Ark. Hi, Misty. How can I get Reen Schwarzer to fall in love with me? Why is that every letter in this goddamn show? What the hell did you send me, Monk? Monk, what are you doing? <laughs> and of course, Reen rushed over here right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I was surprised too. Last month, Misty con contacted Director Michael. They came to an agreement where we'd send her fan mail to her and she'd record her show and send it to us. <laughs> oh god. No, oh, I mean, of course the station accepted. <laughs> and nobody knows where Misty is, obviously. She's, she's an Ouroboros Anguist. She can cover her tracks. <laughs> I 
Isn't she just the best? <laughs> She's funny and witty. She doesn't seem pushy and just pulls her listeners in. <laughs> Wait a minute. How do you send her stuff and get things back if you don't know where she is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do my best. I'll, I'll do my best to be Pablo the Scottish... No, the wee Scottish jerk. <laughs> yes! Becky's back, baby! <laughs> uh, oh god. This calls from Trista. Trista. Oh no, it's Lecter. God, we just talked to you. What the hell do you want now? <laughs> and apparently, Lecter knows all about Albin Time being on too. <laughs> oh no, the same. I saw. I saw his uh, first line of text and was like. Oh my god, he's Scottish. And I just, like, freaked out. <laughs> uh. After the old man hijacked their plot. <laughs> uh. Apparently Lecter li really liked Aubin Time, too. He probably would. <laughs> Told them they're not even allowed to blink. But no one ever comes to pick up the letters. Then when we check inside the box, lo and behold, it's as empty as a plunder treasure chest. And apparently it just suddenly appeared in the post office, post is paid, and ready to ship out. <laughs> God, that seems like such a mundane and wasteful use of magic. <laughs> And yeah, there's no sense in shutting it down. It's not like it's doing any harm. <laughs> and of course, he's like, Hey, why don't you press Emma for information? Maybe she knows where Vita is. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you one thing. I'd certainly like to press Emma. Uh, I, I, I shouldn't say that out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, she might have been our enemy, but I mean, she wasn't even that, like, antagonistic. And no, I'm not allowed a second Emma playthrough. That's why I put this up to the fans, and the fans demanded I go with Altina, with Yuna finishing in a close second place. <laughs> oh, I bet. Anyway, I'm gonna go make a quick save here, because it's a good point to make one, obviously. And, uh, I'm going to temporarily cut the episode here, go to the bathroom, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So, uh, hang on to your seats. I'll be back shortly. Don't worry about it. If you're watching on YouTube, do the needful. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do all the things. Give me money. Wahahaha. <laughs>